Hello everybody, Animus here. Thank you for clicking on this video and watching it in the first place. Uh, so I'm gonna be honest with you, I've tried a few different ways to make this video and uh, they never came out too right. My wording was always rough. So in this video, I wanted to discuss uh, the state of the game of V44 of Paragon and why I'm not having too much fun with it. Why videos haven't been coming out a lot and and things, of, my, of course, my personal opinions, um, but things that I just miss in the game. In this video, I wanted to discuss things like cards and jam mechanics, uh, the impactfulness of them, and the diversity between builds. I also wanted to discuss actual hero mechanics and the actual gameplay of V44 and Paragon at the moment. But before I begin this video, uh, I just wanted to explain a couple things here. So when I started to create Paragon videos, I was having a lot of fun playing Paragon. Uh, and when I started playing Paragon and having fun with it, I was thinking, let's make videos on it. Let's, let's make videos on how fun I'm having with my friends with this game and let's share to people that this game can be a lot of fun with the right people. I mean, it's it was really fun by myself, just kind of jamming. I wasn't playing with anybody in this game and actually had a lot of fun playing it. I do remember that. I feel like pre-V42, the game was pretty balanced. Uh, there was a couple things that they needed to fix. The card mechanics and um, the cards themselves were a lot of fun, uh, very diverse. Not so much in builds, but that could have been fixed pretty easily, in my opinion. Uh, and just overall, the game felt right. So now I wanted to discuss uh, the state of the game of V44. Let's uh, let's begin with the cards and gems. Personally, I do not like them at all. I feel like uh, gems are actually a really good idea. I do like the gems, but the cards themselves, there's no diversity in builds these days. Uh, diversity between cards, of course, there's a lot of diversity in cards themselves now that they unlocked the affinities, but the builds that people are running are not diverse at all. I mean, carries, you're going to either run Intellect with OPD Militia, you're going to run Chaos and put on Shattered Golem, uh, sometimes you can run Growth and put on Trapper, but realistically, carries everything's gonna be just about the same when it comes to builds so the reason that they made this uh this card system is to bring more diversity between builds and i feel that they did not accomplish that at all pre v42 cards didn't feel as impactful um compared to what they are now but you can feel the difference as you progress in your card in your actual build itself now you have cards that can literally decrease your DPS for a carry by 20%. Numbing Rogue, it, it, your attack speed goes down literally 20%. And things like that, I, I feel, ruin the game. I feel like they rush to bring out this new card system without actually taking a look at... Alright, well, thing, this could be way too impactful. They even said in one of their community corners... Um, before this new update that said, you know, like we realized that cards are way too impactful. So we're going to buff every single freaking hero. That just in my mind does not make sense at all. They should have taken a step back and said, all right, well, like what could we do besides buffing every single hero, giving Wukong a stun, uh, things of that nature, instead of looking at the cards themselves and saying, hey, maybe this is impacting gameplay a little too much. We should dial down some of these cards. You know, I just miss the days where if I was a carry and I wanted to build all crit, I was able to do so. If I wanted to build all attack speed, I was more than welcome to. Uh, but now you have to build into your attributes and then you build in to you put those in cards i don't I, I i i feel like that does not make sense like you you have money you spend your money and you get more power that's how it should be instead of having money buying attributes that give you a little bit of something and then putting those attribute points into something that's going to be ridiculously overpowered uh like I said, these are all my personal opinions, but I just feel like they took the wrong direction in this card system. Instead of rushing into this new card system, I feel like they could have added some new cards uh, 
balanced the cards that were already there, changed some things around instead of completely redoing it to a card system that just is so much different from what it used to be. Okay, so now that I explained uh, my personal opinions on cards, I'm gonna go into heroes and game mechanics and overall gameplay of V44.6, I think it is right now. All right, so like I said, heroes don't feel as impactful as cards. So now that they're trying to get that in line with cards, they're trying to buff every single hero in the game to make them more impactful. So like things like Wukong having a stun is completely broken. I think Wukong has the highest DPS in all, you know, in the entire game. And then to the fact that he has a stun as well, it just it feels so broken. To me. And all, all I really have to say about hero mechanics and overall gameplay is the game just feels way too fast. Attack speeds too fast, movements too fast, abilities are too fast. Everything is just way too fast for such a small map. They they dialed up the attack speed way too much and the the cooldowns and everything about it just just feels way too fast, way too crazy. Uh, I feel like there's not a whole lot of skill involved in a lot of things now. Uh, abilities don't feel as skillful. Basic attacks on carries and other heroes don't feel as intense because the attack speed you shoot for four times a second doing like a hundred damage it just it feels it's stupid like I really don't like the fact that you shoot five times a second and do like 70 damage per hit early game. I, I really don't like that. I like those really strong slow hitting uh, but if you build like that, then you're gonna get wrecked on by a Murdoch or a, a, a Twin or a Sparrow. So you, you have to build a certain way or else you're just gonna do horrible the entire- I feel like they launched Monolith in the state of the game that it was to fit that gameplay and then they they looked back on the card system and said, eh, like we can, we can change it up a little bit. But they changed it up a little too much to not fit the actual map. So now everything is just way too fast. People can rotate too fast, attacks are too fast, abilities are too fast, and and it's just intense. It's 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 crazy. I I do not like the fact that gameplay is just way too fast. Another thing about gameplay is games feel like they're decided in the first five or ten minutes in the match. Whoever gets Fang Tooth first or whoever gets a tower first, I feel like that team is is going to win. You get extra damage with Fang Tooth and currency at that just it gives you a tremendous lead it's not like regular raptors where it gave your carry a uh, thousand extra gold or something it gives your entire team a thousand or so extra gold plus damage and that is just too much of a snowball effect and there's not too many ways to come back from that effect when you're down. Once one team gets it once or twice, there's not a whole lot that another team can do to combat that because they're not hitting as hard and they're just gonna get melted in a team fight, causing them to be even more behind. So it creates a huge snowball effect that it's really hard to come back from. And pre V42, when this old card system was in here, I felt like you actually had a small chance to come back from like if you had a good team fight, you can push a lane, come back from it, and actually get a win. But now you just you have to suffer throughout the whole game. You might be able to get a good team fight in, but I feel like you're not gonna be able to do a whole lot from it. You're still gonna be behind in farm, you're still gonna be behind in gold. Uh, most games just feel like that, and which causes me to not have fun in the game, which causes me not to make a video on it. So it's just this fact that one out of ten games I actually kind of enjoy myself the other ones I'm just sitting there saying like that was not fun that was not fun I got melted I was 15,000 gold behind because you know either my teammate sucked or they got fang tooth they snuck it in uh, and it's just I don't I don't like that mechanic at all and I was really thinking about this the other day. I was really thinking about it. Is what made Paragon so unique compared to other MOBAs? And what I thought, and this might sound odd, is Paragon to me really didn't feel like a MOBA. It felt like a really good in-depth shooting game or fighting game with a currency. And to me, you just kind of sat there, got farm, and had a battle and you got more farm 
got a little bit stronger and had a battle. But now, I, I don't know. That That's just me thinking. I'm not a big MOBA guy. So maybe the fact is that Paragon is a, a big MOBA now. It's, it's an actual MOBA. Currency matters. Maybe I just have a wrong mindset of the old games. Like, well, you know, like, I don't need this last hit. I'm going to go get in a team fight and kill somebody, and I'll be all right. But and maybe that's my fault. Maybe I haven't grown with the game, or I don't know. This is just me thinking of th of why I don't like the game anymore. I'm not having fun with this game anymore. And I'm trying to think of reasons why. And I know I don't like the card mechanics. I don't like how fast the game is. And maybe that's another reason. It's it's because it's, it is a MOBA now. And I am not a big MOBA person. I hope the game does go in a different direction before 2018. Before they actually launch it. Because I... I really I can't stand sitting here thinking about making a video hopping onto Paragon and being so disappointed with it where I just delete the footage or just have it sitting on my in my computer not doing anything with it I, I, I I'm very disappointed with the state of the game that it is in now that I can't make a video on it and I've released a couple here and there but you can you can definitely tell that my effort into it is not there because I'm just not having fun with the game and I'm I'm sorry to say but it's I if you don't have fun in a game why play it and I you know I guess I guess I just need either to change my mindset of the game itself or just play a different game and hopefully people watch it I've been trying to get into it with live streaming and trying to make videos for you guys. I've been playing a lot with my friends to try and get more involved and get excited about the new state of the game. Um, but honestly, I have not felt good at all about it. So I'm sorry to say it's unless there's a big change in the game, it's going to be very hard for me to make videos in the future. So let me know how you feel about Paragon nowadays. Let me know how what you think about this video down in the comments below. Let me know if you have any suggestions for me. Um, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. But uh, if anything pops up, I will be sure to let you know. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all for your great support. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.